So today we are going to be swapping the axle that came originally on the Geo Pro. It's got a slight issue with the new axle that Dexter Axle just sent us. Uh, I'll show you what's happening on this, but uh, we're going to dive into this. So as you can see here, as I get down on this, you can tell we definitely had a little bit of a axle failure. It's happened on a recent trip uh, that we were on. We noticed that uh, the spindle of the on the axle that the tire attaches to, somehow it, um, it got slightly bent. And Dexter has recently made a change, you'll see it on the new axle, where this would be a lot easier. But instead, this is an older axle on here. So the process is we need to lift it up, drop the entire axle off of this trailer. And thanks to Dexter and their wonderful warranty systems, they sent us a brand new one over there. And I'll show you the upgraded features that they put in it as we put it on. So now that the tires are off, the new axle already has come installed with brakes, all the wiring for the electric brakes on the trailer. So you're gonna have to disconnect the wires coming from your axle that tie into the wires that are going in to the trailer frame up to the tongue that tie into your tow vehicle. So we'll disconnect these, then we'll be able to start working on bolts, lower and axle. All right, now that wires are all disconnected, tucked everything back up here, this is actually gonna be pretty simple. There's four bolts. There's one here, there's one on the other side. And then you can see over there, we've got two bolts on that side. We put a jack in the center of the axle so that when we pop these bolts off, we've got something supporting it to help hold it up. Uh, and then we'll slowly lower it down, get this axle out of the way. We can be able to bring the new axle in and it's just raise it back up into place and put our four bolts back in. Those out looks a little funny. Time to bring the new one in. All right, so that's the new axle from Dexter, and I'm going to show you guys up close here in a second the the new kind of modification to this. Probably because they've been having a lot of issues uh, with it, with the spindles bending and stuff. Even though we just found out our spindle wasn't actually bent, it was actually something uh, more. I'll show you that in a second too but uh, they've upgraded this so that hopefully in the future, spindle's getting bent a little quicker, swap out. So if you're able to see right here, there's a little little hole on the bottom side underneath here. When we get it up in there, you'll see there's a nut or a bolt right there. I think I got it with my finger. That releases this spindle. So in the future, if the spindle ever bends, we just gotta disassemble the brake components and take that bolt out, be able to pull the spindle right here, be able to then pull it right out and put a new spindle in, put everything back together, as long as you didn't have any additional damage to the actual axle. Yeah. So here's what the actual problem was. We had thought that our spindle had kind of 
kicked out and like bent up a little bit, but so we pulled this out. If you kind of look straight down this, you can notice this portion of the arm way back here is kind of tweaked like this. And that's what was giving us uh, issues. So definitely a lot of force came down. Somehow something bent caused this to bend, which shouldn't have bent that easy. But uh, nonetheless, we're getting it replaced. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but uh, the new axle is now in. We've got brand new bolts that they sent us, tightened all those up. Uh, they've already done most of the wiring for us. If I can find them over here and show you. They uh, already did all the, the wiring at the factory now, so we don't have to do as much. They tied everything together and gave us just some tails so that we can take these two wires and tie them back into the wire for the system that goes back up. So all that stuff that we took off before, don't need to reuse it. We're just gonna cut these a little shorter, heat shrink some connectors, bring these two together, heat shrink them up, tuck everything up. I'll probably zip tie some stuff out of the way if there's still anything loose hanging in there. Uh, then we'll put tire back on, set this thing down, and see how it's doing. All right, just like that, we're back to being straight. No more wonky wheel. Pretty simple, easy turnaround to get that uh, changed out. Thanks to. Thanks to that dude right there. Auto Daycare LV coming in all the way from Vegas. Good friend of mine that was happened to be in town. Said, sure, I'll come hang out. Hope you swap this thing out. So go check him out if you're in the Vegas area. Amazing mechanic that'll show up, take care of you, anything that you need. But uh, for this one, pretty simple, pretty quick. All said and done. So again, here at the Sierra Life where we're all about getting outside, finding your adventure, sometimes getting a little boo-boo, got to fix it. But uh, as we say, get out there, find your adventure, have some fun, like and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos on the Geo Pro or just plain out adventure videos or whatever that you're looking for. Till next time, I'm Sean, we'll see you later.